A decades old fashion trend is making a comeback in South Africa. The haircut, oh my gosh, the iconic haircut. And with good reason. It's called the Madiba cut, named after and once worn by the country's first black president, Nelson Mandela. It symbolizes strength, unity, respect as well. So it's, it's quite a big haircut from the big man himself. The Madiba cut was Mandela's trademark hairstyle from his secondary school days to his 40s. It's inspired the Shave to Remember campaign, marking the 100th year since his birth. The event is the first of many in a weeks-long campaign that paid tribute to a man whose fight for equality led to the end of apartheid more than two decades ago. It's wonderful and it's amazing to know that, you know, he's been with us for a long time and he has passed on for quite some time now, but his legacy is still alive. We still continue with it. We still keep his spirit alive. We thought it helped people understand that they should express their true character no matter where they're from, who they are or how who they are or how they look. But it's not just a celebration locally. The Shave to Remember campaign is also having a positive impact abroad. So this is, you're going to see a little clip from last year where you couldn't get a job because of her hairstyle. Do you think that's fair? No. no. These students took part in a lesson designed to educate children about Afro hairstyles. Organizers say the event could help reverse cultural prejudices that damage children's self-esteem. Because there's bias in society, it affects um, black and mixed race children at the very earliest age. They look in the mirror and they don't like their image and they want to change their hairstyles. Um, it affects their job prospects, their opportunities, what they want to do in life. They actually decide, oh, maybe I'll have to change my hair if I want to do that. And it's about creating equality in society. In South Africa, it's a lesson all too familiar. Racism still remains an issue decades after apartheid. But there is hope events like these will keep Mandela's legacy alive, along with his fight for equality. Regan Levine, TRT World.